question. How does it feel to know that you're about to do an interview where no questions about swimming will be asked? Oh, fantastic. I love it. Yes. <laughs> so, Nathan, obviously we're pretty enthusiastic about meeting people that we admire, and we know that you got the opportunity to attend the Golden Globe. I did. Week. I did. So, we were wondering who you got to meet that you were really excited about. Oh, uh, George Clooney. I've yeah. always been a huge George Clooney, uh, George Clooney fan. Suave gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's what I want to be when I'm like that age. That's cool, right? Um, but then, you'll be, but you'll be um, hopefully in a committed long-term relationship. And obviously. Non-committal. Not, <laughs> not, not that George is doing anything wrong, but we're just saying we Jeez. hope for a more consistent future for you. Um, Leo DiCaprio also. His, Misty and him had a little moment we saw his, on Instagram. His eye contact is just like, it's piercing. It's unbelievable. <gasps> Still my heart. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's have let go. <laughs> I saw Titanic, so I'm fine. By the way, you're never leaving this room. <laughs> Lock the door, <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> I watched uh, 100 Freestyle probably 5,000 times since August. We, I've noticed that you wear your goggles out of the ready room, and is this a strategy uh, of some kind and to try and succeed to just look like a badass <laughs> and be intimidating? Um, no, it's it's kind of just so I can uh, I can I can focus on doing my normal routine behind the blocks. It's it's not so uh, it's not <laughs> it's not like me trying to like rock Ray Bans in the club or anything. You know? <laughs> It's uh, it's just me doing doing controlling what I can before the the race and then going going and going after it. Yeah. So unintentional badassery. But but, but it yes. is very yeah. badass. <laughs> okay, hypothetical question. Mm -hmm. You're at a speedo Christmas party. Okay. You are participating in a secret Santa, so you have to get you pull someone's name and you have Ooh. to get them a gift. Okay. You pull James Magnuson's name. <laughs> what do you get him? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, you have to give me the, the thing that makes Secret Santa's great is that you get time to think about it. I do a James Magnuson impression. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> might take a little wreckage when gold, but it might not. <laughs> That's the best reaction she's gotten out of doing that Pretty terrible fantastic. impression this entire it's not time. That wrong, though. <laughs> Okay, my hypothetical question. All right. You have one day to eat anything you want without any consequences. Oh. What do you eat? That might have been yesterday, actually. Oh, <laughs> give us a scoop. After the uh, 53, a, a lot of us went out to this this place. I think it was called like Yo Mama's Burgers or something. I <laughs> know, what a name. That's what they were. And then uh, there was like, I think my patty was stuffed with cheese. And then I had like uh, barbecued pulled pork on top of it. And then it was like all on Texas toast. And then there were sweet potato fries with, with caramel dripped on top of it. Mm. It was pretty awesome. But you That's probably like growing out just You don't think about putting caramel on, on sweet potato fries, do you? But it is yeah. delicious. They do things differently. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Jazz is a little different. Now it's time for a rapid fire round. Oh, okay. What was the last book you read? Oh, Life of Pi, because I wanted to watch it before. I wanted to read it before I watched the movie. Did you watch the movie? I haven't yet. <laughs> I just read the book. What would you do if you were on a raft with a tiger? Uh, was he on the raft with a tiger? <gasps> oh. Oh. Stay tuned. <laughs> what was the last good movie you saw? Oh, Django Unchained. What was the last great meal you ate? Was that? No, it was that. It was last It's all about the money. <laughs> What was the what is the weirdest compliment you've ever gotten? I, I, I don't know. One of you guys might have thrown it out there, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> what? Please elaborate. Can we please? They're elaborate. all great and flattering. I just I just never I just never just knew right that. Right before you continue, the f when we found out that you were following us on Twitter, we were excited and horrified <laughs> at the same time. We were like, "He's gonna see some crazy <laughs> coming out." Hashtag rhetorical tweets. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Uh, control the controllables. Now, my paper. Okay, we're going to play this or that. We're going to give you two options, and you pick the one that you like. 
Ooh, yeah, yes. all right. Number one, Golden Globes or Golden Goggles? Oh, what did I like more? No. Well, what you prefer? Just, just got to think fast. Golden Goggles. Go 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 Sneakers or flip-flops? Sneakers. Justin Bieber or One Direction? Biebs. <sighs> We're going to have a problem. Sorry. <laughs> Duck Dynasty or Top Gear? Uh, British or American? Oh, <gasps> the interviewee becomes the interviewee. <laughs> uh, British. Top Gear. Funfetti cake or Oreos and milk? Oh, really? Funfetti cake, if it's warm. Okay, now this one, you really think about. All right. Eve or Candace? <laughs> you can't make me choose. Another issue that we have really been wanting to discuss with you is your August Man photo shoot. Oh, yes. And if you need a reminder, <laughs> this, there it is. here's some of the pictures from the Hipstomatic that were put on Facebook. So we know that your inner speed are probably 80 or maybe even as high as 92% of the time. <laughs> but what, it's, what is it like wearing a Speedo where you're also wearing a beautiful white cable knit sweater <laughs> and being photographed? It was different. Yeah. It was different. A little out of my comfort zone. Yeah. But whatever. It was, it was fun. We enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> thank you for thank, that. Thank gift. you for that. Thanks, Mr. Chunky Express. That's right. What was your favorite part of the shoot and what was your favorite outfit? Favorite part of the shoot. Um, it was it was doing the ones that were in the suit. That was really fun. It was, it was really fun. That that like that shoot where where I had my glasses on and stuff. That was just randomly on the roof of the hotel that I was I was staying at. It was awesome. So it was it just worked out really well, and they they dressed me up real nice for it. So uh, for your day at the office at Sterling Cooper Draper Price. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's my question. So obviously you're in New York. Oh, why did you not uh, give us a call? The phone and didn't be like, ring. Hey, so looking for that New York pizza because we know all the spots. Well, we were a little disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was just eleven months to rectify that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> What did your mom think? About that, the yeah, shoot? Yeah. She, I think she liked it. She, well, she probably paid, I don't know. She liked it. <laughs> Shout out to Cecilia. What up? Thanks. <laughs> so, in also having to do with fashion and all of that stuff, I don't know if you know this, but we helped Anthony Irvin, one half of Nanthony, mm -hmm. get dressed for the Golden Goggles. I so, heard. and did you like his attire? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Well, yeah, yeah. So we want to know, can we help you get dressed for the next Golden Goggles? Yeah, sure. You're gonna be, I think it's in L.A., though, isn't it? Uh, oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> we got to Texas. We'll get to L.A. <laughs> JetBlue, what's up? All right. So now we're going to be moving on talking about the all-important topic of social media. Oh, yes. Which is very important, I think, especially for swimmers, because mm -hmm. not getting Kobe and LeBron attention all the time. So, <laughs> on the Twitter... Please explain your fondness for hashtags. Examples, hashtag, weak sauce. Hashtag, I'm 23, why do I feel, still feel guilty? Hashtag, I want a motorcycle. Hashtag, Olivia Wilde would be nice too. Sorry, she's engaged. <laughs> <laughs> what was, I don't even remember what that was. That was a while ago. You have a lot. <laughs> I don't want to do this That's funny. Uh, I, I think that's funny. Yeah. I, think, I think the whole trending thing, it's such... Especially when you first get into Twitter, you're like, what are these hashtags? So I just got in the habit of writing normal words in a hashtag. Nice. So what are your thoughts on the hashtag Nathan Adrian's chest? Oh, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I understand it completely. Is this some sort of pun? Um, no, it's pretty straightforward. It's just that we are great admirers of your chest, and we think the world <laughs> should also know. Thank you, Nick Volker. I mean, Mel Stewart <laughs> said it, too. So we're not, it's, it's male, female, it's just all encompassing. So we're just, you know. Like, my, uh, you know, Michael Phelps, it was all a lot of talk about his wind, the wingspan. wingspan. And, oh. you know, I feel like. Awesome. All right. See, that, that might go into the category of one of the strangest compliments I've ever gotten. But yeah. I am very flattered by it. There you go. But we also, as you may have seen, we made some shirts that say Nathan Adrian's chest. I saw that. And we have a lot of a lot of people have been asking us if we have given you one, which we have not. But not. we. So this is not just any Nathan Adrian's chest shirt. This is a very special one. Oh, fantastic! Not just because it's for you, but because it's been screen printed on your 
favorite kind of t-shirt that's from true. the LNA. Oh, well, but thank you unfortunately, so much. underestimated we the shoulder really length. really underestimated. So, I think. so we have another one. You can you make can that have. into a pillow if you it like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bag. But we, right. have a, we have a we have a spare. So that yeah, maybe will do you. Um, you can wear it in good health. Yes. And the last question is: If you could hashtag this interview, what would the hashtag be? Sunday fun day. Boom. I love it. Boom. Bring it in. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this with us. It's like we're going to go outside and cry now. So right. thank you very, very much.